So at question time, these are all missionaries, Christian missionaries. They're trained. So one guy stands up and says, Mr. D, that even if this child that was born out of wedlock means the man and the woman had committed zina, adultery, fornication. Out of marriage, they had sex and they produced this bastard child, even if the child is a bastard child. I said, yes, even if the child is a bastard child, it is no fault of the child. If there is a law, you punish the man and the woman for committing adultery. But the child is innocent. You can't strangle the child because the child is born bastard, can you? No, it's no fault of the child. I said, the child is innocent. That's the answer. So the guy stands up again. He says, Mr. D, that how can anything good come out of evil? Adultery is evil. Out of that, how can a clean, pure child come out? And my system was, uh, question time, the man asked the question, I'm sitting down and I stand up and I answer the question and I sit down again. Another guy stands up, asks the question, I stand up to answer. And it took me a little longer to stand up. <laughs> How can anything good come out of evil? Adultery is evil. How can a pure child come out of that? Out of zina? It took me a few seconds longer and I, to me it seems long time. I didn't have the answer. I didn't have the answer. I had the answer. I can speak about physiologically, there's nothing wrong with the child. Psychologically, there's nothing wrong with the child. Ethically, there's nothing wrong with the child. I can speak for an hour on that. But at the end of the hour, the guy can still nod his head and says, Mr. D, Dad, how can anything good come out of evil? Same place. After one hour of exposition of psychology, uh, theology, uh, philosophy, the guy says, no, Mr. D, Dad, how can anything good come out of evil? So I could see an hour's talk and still at the end of it, the guy is not satisfied. That's, that's the difficulty. What am I going to say? So Allah, you know, He gives it to you. If you are working for Him, He gives it to you. I didn't have the answer, but it came. I didn't hear anybody talking to me. No Jibril came to me. <laughs> Anytime you hear that Ahmad Yidad Singh is hearing voices, you must know Ahmad Yidad is a psychiatrist. <laughs> I'm telling you. He said, look poor fellow, he's going off now. <laughs> Maybe he's taking some Mandrax pills or whatever, what not. <laughs> he's going off. <laughs> then I say, I'm hearing voices. The only voices I hear is your voice when you talk to me. I don't hear any other voices. I didn't hear any voices. But I stood up. And I said, you see, eating and talking about the apple, eating an apple in the garden was a great sin. According to you, great sin. For which Adam and Eve were kicked out of the garden. Serious. So, yes. But in contrast to that, compared to that, killing the only begotten son of God. In a billion years, he produced only one. And that son, you go and kill him. That's the most heinous crime you can think of. The greatest sin is to kill God's only son. Which he produced in a billion years, he produced only one. And you go and kill him. Compared to eating an apple. What do you think of this, killing God's son? It's the most heinous crime you can think of. And yet, out of that murder of the only begotten son of God, came the gift of redemption. Jannah. Rahin Ajar. I said, you tell me, how can anything good come out of evil? You tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Killing God's son? Huh? What an evil compared to eating an apple. If eating an apple is a sin, killing God's only son? Shh. And out of that you say came salvation. That's the only way you can go to heaven. You believe that Christ died for your sins. That's what he's telling you. So out of that murder, in this. So out of that murder, how can anything good come out? You tell me. Finish. No. You see, now that thing remains because man, that guy made me to think. 